Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do a little video of what I got for my baby shower. Um, I got loads of outfits because I've already got most of the stuff anyway, so it was just basically get everything in that I needed for the rest of the year because their birthday will be around Christmas time. So, I got loads of really, really cute ones. Possibly too many, but I do love them. Got this little tutu outfit. And this one's from Nutmeg. It's really, really cute. And on the other side, after all of the frilly layers, it's also got poppers as well. So it's like a vest. Hopefully, she won't be too big to fit in that one because it's my probably my favourite. Uh, Jasper Conran. Pretty little dress. With a little bow on it. Lots of little unicorns, because I do love unicorns. A couple of little headbands. I asked for these because I was like, please, please. She needs something in her hair if she's going to look like a boy for a while. So they've all got little bows on. And loads of flowery things. I do like pink, so there is quite a lot of pink stuff. <laughs> Um, I got a jumper from F and F, which is really gorgeous, and it's like um, lace, and then underneath is the actual jumper. That's up to three months, so that'll be one of the first outfits she wears because it is tiny. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a set, so you get the bib and the vest. And the little sleeper suit with little feet in. This one's from Mother Care and it's up to three months as well. It's just awesome. I got loads of coats because it will be winter time and it'll be absolutely freezing. So we've got the first one with a lovely fur hood and inside is absolutely like a velvety soft. This one was from Marks and Spencer's. And then I've got, I'm going to have to make another pile. I've got that much stuff to show you. Got a pink one with butterflies on. This one's quite big, so I'm guessing this is for next year. Let me have a look at the size. Yeah, 9 to 12 months from Mother Care. And this little one, a little snowsuit with little ears leopard print with little feet on can you see them little paws they're so cute this one's up to a month so this will be her first coat she ever wears probably the one that i'm going to take to the hospital to get her out in i'm really excited now it is from mother care oh yeah it's like a big teddy bear i've got some amazingly cute bibs but this pack first with Bambi on this is from Asda the George range oh there you go and um, this one is from early days which I can't think off the top of my head where it is but I've definitely seen it around somewhere And one more on the back and then I've got a couple of ones that I've already taken the labels off these were from Asda start to get myself a bit ready and organized and putting things away and then I'll show you the room in a minute because it is horrendous I haven't really got anywhere so my friend got me a spare set of bedding I don't know how you can see this because I can't see but because the room is pink and grey it is fantastic if she was ever to be sick or ill that can be a lovely little sick blankie and then I've got another little snowsuit with a Minnie Mouse on 
and little gloves that come off which are really cute and this one is from Disney Baby so I'm guessing that might be George as well as that because they do all the Disney Baby range they're gorgeous and then we've got a couple of I got quite a few jumpers if I show you some of the dresses that I got because they're my favourite like how cute this one is this will be perfect for when it turns into summer I think this is the Ted Baker one hold on while I double check Debenhams yes Ted Baker it's so cute and then a couple of little cardigans and a couple of I've got quite a lot of sleep suits so I won't show you all of them but they're pretty much all florally like this look how cute this is look at that it's a little jacket with bunny ears and I think it's Thumper from from Bambi and it's so soft I'm wondering if this is from George as well it just says Disney so it could be the Disney stall I'm not sure but that's newborn as well so that'll be like straight away wearing that one. Oh, a set of pyjamas from Asda another tutu outfit lovely pair of trousers little pants these are all nutmeg these ones and one with a little bunny on the bum bum and one with little hearts on and a couple of hats, I'll show you the hats as well. Just sitting on my yoga ball, bouncing away. <laughs> little pom-pom one. And I'm not sure if it's a mouse or a rabbit or a cat, but this is gonna go with the red coat that I showed you first to go with a little brown hood. That's from Next. And this one is from Disney Baby again. Could be George, could be the Disney store. Oh no, this one was from Spain because my friend got it. A little Disney hat. So yeah. Oh, and do you want me to show you the Christmas outfit? They're so cute. I have absolutely loads. Oh, oh. I have absolutely loads of Christmas outfits already because she's going to be born around Christmas time. So she's got a little Santa hat and a little elf hat and a little pair of Christmas booties. And then we've got a couple of sleep suits with reindeers on and a Christmas pudding one. With a little Christmas pudding on a bum. <laughs> I do find that the girls' outfits are much cuter than the boys. <laughs> How cute is this? I bought this one myself. This wasn't from the baby shower, but I love it. That was from Mother Care, that one. Down from 15 to a pound so I was like I have to get it if it's a girl or a boy I don't care because it's so cute a little vest and another hat and t-shirt oh I've got one more sleep suit as well there you go Santa's little helper with little feet most of these will probably be too big but I'm still gonna put her in it because they're so cute and I don't want them to like be wasted and 
everybody spends so much money on me already and I feel so guilty that everything's like so small but yeah I absolutely love everything that I've had I'm so like over the moon at everything I found dress with the little under uh, the little knickers in so I'll show you that one too look how cute that is so this will be when it's time to turn into summertime next year but it's just absolutely adorable three months and this one's from George and it comes with a little pair of knickers to hold the nappy in look how cute they are ah, I can't wait I'm so excited so I'll put all this stuff away and then I'll give you a tour around the room how disastrous it is because I just don't even know where to begin there's things that have been in here since before my son was born and they just don't ever go away I just don't know what to do with it I just need help so yeah two minutes and I'll show you <laughs> so I might as well do a before and after as well while I'm going of how the room actually looks now and how I want it to look <laughs> when it's actually all finished so as you can see this is the stuff that I used for my uh, for monkey when he was little and there is curtains that were going on there and his little bouncer but instead of wasting money, I thought I'd reuse the bouncer and I'd probably think of something to do with the curtains anyway. So that should save me something there. I'm not going to change the actual roller blind from green just because it took absolutely forever for my granddad to put it in. <clears throat> it's also a blackout blind, so it's perfect because the sun comes up right in front of her window. So it's going to wake her up straight away in the morning. So then also... How do I do this this way? Right. We have the pram that I used with Monkey. That is now stored in here, ready to be used with a load of junk in it. That just gets, everything just gets piled in here. It's an absolute nightmare, but it's organized mess. <laughs> and this is the box of still to unpack. Also another box over here and here. They're all full of clothes that everybody's given me for the baby shower and before the baby shower. Um, I've also got another gift bag down here that I still haven't even looked in. And here is all of their coats. In here, I've actually decided to do um, from six months onwards, everything is going to be stored in there. Because there's no room otherwise. And at the minute it's full of toys and things for the high chair that goes downstairs. Monkey's shoes that are too big. Um, yeah, just a bit of everything really. I've also decided to use all of his, um, what do you call them? Sleep. They're like sleeping bags. Them things, yeah. They're all monkeys, but why waste money for something that no one else is going to see apart from me? They're all perfect condition as well, so I thought I'd save everything. Um, oh, I got this the other day. This is my absolute bargain to match the room. A lovely changing mat, six ninety nine from Home Bargains. It says it in the name. Uh, that is Monkey's Hornby set that I'll show you another time because it is so big and it absolutely loves it but there's just no room for it at the minute because his room is just a mess just pr the whole house is at the minute just trying to trying to organize everything before the baby gets here is just not working but we're trying we're trying so in the top drawer these are going to be her chest of drawers and then i'm going to put the changing mat on the top and then hopefully i'll have a big beautiful sticker on here for her name Everything in here is zero to three. So these are sleep suits, four pile pajamas as well, and sleeveless um, vests and long sleeve vests. Everything in here is also zero to three. These are Christmas outfits, pretty outfits, tops, pants, anything to do with head. So hats and headbands. And this pile is Oh, I've forgotten already. Probably more outfits to go with this pile because I ran out of room. Then in the bottom, I have got three to six. So it's um, trousers, 
dresses, tops, vests, hats and sleep suits. Haven't got a lot in there yet, but as you can tell, there's still more stuff in there. I also have a lot of stuff that I've kept from Monkey, which is my son, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> I say it a lot, like as if everybody knows. So this is Monkey's bath suit that he had from Newborn which is perfect so they can actually lie in it and they don't feel like they're floating away and you don't have to hold on to them and then little silly plastic ones. I actually got this from a car boot sale and I think it's absolutely fantastic. A baby carrier that goes on my chest. That was a lifesaver. And all of the muslin blankets washed, cleaned, ironed, ready to go because we use tons of them because they throw up all over the place. Oh, also, I thought I'd share my handy idea for people who are having a second child. A fantastic idea that I found um, on the internet was for your child to actually go out and buy a present for your new baby and your new baby to buy a present for your child. So Monkey actually went out to the shop and picked out this for himself and he is so excited to give it to the baby. Um, it's just a random little toy that he saw in the shop and he thought it would be absolutely fantastic to give to the baby. And I thought that was so sweet of him to pick something that he really thought was um, perfect for us. So um, we're going to wrap that and when uh, the baby's here, when he comes to visit me in the hospital, they'll exchange their little gifts and hopefully have a super duper bond. So we'll see how that actually goes. So sorry about the mess, but that is the way that we live. And that is the way that I am at the minute. I am actually trying to sort it all out as fast as I can, but there's just no time at the minute with working still. Um, hopefully before the baby comes, maybe my mum might come and help. So I hope you like my video and if it give you any inspiration, fingers crossed. Also, if you're pregnant, good luck and I hope you have a fantastic pregnancy and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Just before we go, I forgot to show you the best bit. Look how cute she is! I'll be the baby's first teddy! I love it.